let's take a brief tour of the framework for ecosystem restoration monitoring or firm platform, which is accessible through the website data.apps.fao.org slash firm. The firm is a geospatial platform that improves data access and transparency to provide key resources on ecosystem restoration and is made available to anyone curious to find out more about restoration. The interface might look familiar as it is built on FAL's corporate hand-in-hand -hand geospatial architecture. Let's start by exploring by clicking Explore Data. The data is grouped by ecosystem typology used by the UN decade. Key ecosystems include grasslands, shrublands, and savannas, peatlands, mountains, farmlands, oceans and coasts, freshwater, forests, drylands, and urban areas. The Tools tab provides access to additional tools and platforms for restoration planning and monitoring with linkages to advance monitoring functionality from the SQL platform. Within each ecosystem, data is grouped by biophysical properties, socioeconomic data sources, geospatial data related to management such as fish catch areas, global indicators, and good practices for restoring each ecosystem. The firm is being actively populated, so keep an eye out for updates and new data layers. Now let's take a look at an example of forest restoration. First, let's add our own data on a restoration site. Data uploaded through this functionality is private and is not shared on the platform. I'm dragging the file here to upload it to the platform. It shows the boundaries for a central forest reserve in Uganda where restoration is actively ongoing. Let's capture this larger area that we can later share in a story. Let's name this forest reserve. In the forest tab, we can see the data available for vegetation. Some of the data includes the Global Forest Resource Assessment, which collects country reported statistics on forest area and forest area change. More information can be found on this right hand side. Additional data that's available includes a time series of high resolution satellite imagery from Planet Labs that's now publicly available thanks to a generous donation from the Nor Norwegian government. Let's load a satellite image from 2017 and another one from 2020 to visualize changes over time. Let's zoom into an area. and enable the split screen and put the 2020 image on the right hand side and the 2017 on the left. Here we can, now we can slide between the two different images and see if there's been any restoration progress. Let's capture this in our stories. This is the image 2017, the degraded forest. You can see these degraded areas here and in 2020, we see some restoration progress. Let's capture that, 2020 restoration progress, save. The same tools can also be used to monitor and combat ecosystem degradation and deforestation, which is essential for meeting the goals of ecosystem restoration in the UN decade. We can now share this story by generating a URL by clicking on share and copying this URL. We can paste this URL into a new tab to see that story. Accept that story and we see the larger area, the forest reserve in Uganda, the 2017 degraded area, improvements in 2020, and I've also added an additional data source here. This is the FRA uh, data that's reported on naturally regenerating forests in Algeria. And you can see the time series here of how that 
uh, how the forest area for naturally regenerating forests has changed over time at the national scale. That's all the time that we have for today, but there are many applications for a variety of ecosystems in the firm. We encourage you to check out the firm for yourself and keep in mind that it's being actively developed. If you have any suggestions for functionality or data sets that you'd like to see, you can click on the Give Feedback button and fill out this form. Thanks for your attention.